Eyes in the sky, gazing far into the night. I raise my hand to the fire, but it's no use, cause you can't stop it from shining. Hi, I'm Hannah Whitner. Um, I'm here at my solo show at Solas Studio. I was just telling some people that were lovely enough to come about my work. Um, this work is kind of a mix between my interest in chaoticness and calmness. Um, I have a group of paintings that are on wall, raw canvas that are based on advertising and cartoons, um, and well as like consciousness, surrealism. Um, I'm heavily influenced by Francis Bacon um, and by a lot of the Surrealists, uh, Magritte and Matisse for his graphic shapes. Um, my set of drawings that are being shown are all on paper, they're uh, graphite and charcoal on paper. Um, also very, very surreal, very like dense in material, um, taking lots of different elements from all over, a lot of human elements, a lot of textural elements, um, a lot of things in everyday life. Um, trying to make trying to make sense of like what happens in our minds, what happens in our dreams, um, and I also wanted to challenge myself in these drawings. They're all monochromatic. Um, a lot of the times, my my work is very colorful. Um, my paintings are, have like very small touches of minimal color in them, which is also new for me. Um, a lot of my work is extremely colorful, extremely you know all over the place. Um, blobs and neediness and biology, um, all these things are influenced by it. Um, but I think the challenge of working monochromatically really gets you to focus on the items, the textures, and the flow of everything. Um, yeah, and I think it also tells a lot about, you know, what's happening in my life, my where I am, my studio. Um, I'm in New York right now, but every residency that I've been able to do influences my work in a different way. Um, I can really pick out like the way that a particular place influences each body of work that I make. My Instagram is H-A-N-N-A-H-W-I-T-N-E-R. I also have a website, www.artbyhanna.me. Um, oh, my work is also very influenced by design and advertising graphic arts. Um, I'm an art director by day, um, so I think that that's relevant in showing where my a lot of my influences come from. Um, and then lastly, I'm also mostly influenced by humanity and people, and that's the most interesting thing to me. in the sky, gazing far into the night. I raise my hand to the fire, but it's no use, cause you can't stop it from shining through. It's true, baby, let the light shine through. If you believe it's true, baby, won't you let the light
My name is Lisa Ellingsen and uh, I'm actually from Norway and I came to the US in my 20s to study advertising. So I think right now I'm at the point where I'm looking for my identity. I'm not really in a region anymore and I'm trying to look into who I am and what I love about Norway, which is fairy tales and mythology and this kind of childhood memory. And then I'm like a New Yorker with like pop culture, spinning kind of trippy experiences. So I'm mixing New York culture with my Norwegian heritage from the North mythology. So that's how I have, and I also think about my existential angst a lot and like creation, destruction, the meaning of life. So I'm going into the beginning of the world from the North mythology, which is, it sounds like they're tripping when they talk about it. It just doesn't make any sense, which means these kind of like visuals. So the story is, there's nothing in the world and all of a sudden there's a cow and then there's a giant and the cow feeds the giant with milk but then the cow licks on the ice to get the salt and all of a sudden gods come out and then they multiply they kill the giant and they make the world so this is the beginning so this cow is a representative of the beginning of the world the creation of cosmos and then the end of the world is a wolf eating the sun and there's war between the gods so that's why i have this visual of my dog jumping up to eat the sun um, and i also have i have a vr so see or ar so you can see so there i have another exhibition after this where i'm gonna have the same dog without the horns i will eat the sun so it's kind of like creation and destruction and every day i think about the meaning of life and <laughs> <laughs> how it falls apart and why we are doing what we're doing and I'm using humor to really I'm using humor to kind of laugh about the r ridiculous way we're living so that's why it's kind of crazy and it's trying to take the edge out of the serious uh, world that we are in so that's really what I'm hinging a lot of this so like I'll make a lot of videos at self-performance it's my dog and they're all kind of bringing in this mythology with like modern life um in almost like instagram tiktok videos um uh, simplified uh and I, so here you can see like it's like a this is this is supposed to be the wolf so and then the cow is here animated so it's licking the ice while the gods are kind of flying around and there's talking mushrooms um so because of my advertising background this is kind of this is me like this is what i make um, so it's a mashup of everything and maybe it sounds a little crazy but that's like this is how my brain <laughs> this is the a little peek into my brain um, and I'm really trying to embrace my culture because I left Norway since it's such a it's such a it's it's a little limited in terms of like everybody does the same and like New York I feel like I'm very free but I'm still missing pieces so this is my way to connect to where I came from so that's where the mythology comes in. And then this tree is actually, uh, in the North mythology, the, the world is divided in nine and then it, everything hinges on the tree and the humans were into the tree. So that's also why I made this tree where it's like this glowing energy inside of it. So right now I'm mixing 3D printing, like I scan sculptures that I make and then I 3D print it and I make things. I'm, experimenting with kind of this marriage of real objects, plastic, digital, and 3D printing. Again, which comes from my advertising back.
life. changes.